tell us what you're thinking this evening. Tell us what's going um, on in your mind. Yevgeny Prigozhin has been a very much a, an obsession of Frontline for some time now. And I'd say that, um, you know, the people that I've been talking to ever since that failed mutiny, the March on Moscow, that seemed such a chaotic event was was called off at the behest of the Belarusian president who said, come to me, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Uh, everyone's been saying he's been a marked man. Now, it, you have to say, you cannot say if he was on that plane at the moment. We do not know. In this kind of situation, it's smoke and mirrors. And so the actual details will unravel in time. But if we take you back two months to that failed mutiny, um, it was extraordinary at the time. And as we've just heard, the fact that that man, who was a friend of President Putin, who was in terms of business links, extremely important in terms of the Wagner groups, who who was who've been described to me as very much as like a, a kind of gangster cartel, who, who who promoted Russia's influence abroad in terms of their financial kind of interests in countries like the Central African Republic, um, and Mali, for example. I mean, th 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 this turn of this guy who was known as president's chef because he, originally his kind of a uh, job as, as a provider of food uh, in his uh, job as a, a caterer for the for the kremlin was a trusted man and and as we heard he turned his back he, he was a traitor and and what's really or, or called a traitor by putin and 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 that is is the crime you cannot commit um so ever since that happened Although he was given that door to Belarus, um, we now know that I mean, we see that his card was marked. Um, now, we, we, obviously, events will unfold to establish exactly what happened and whether actually he really was on that plane, because we don't know that yet. But every single analyst I've spoken to since that event has said he better stay away from Windows. Yeah, and, and look, that is... That is the position. He was in a vulnerable position and um, many will, will, you know, sadly not be surprised by this news, uh, including the US President Joe Biden, who said in the last half an hour he's not surprised by the reports concerning Yevgeny Pogosian and the fears uh, that he uh, was on board a plane that we know has crashed north of Moscow, killing everyone on board. What does this tell us uh, about Vladimir Putin, do you think, Kate? Well, I think what's really interesting is um, when you saw that failed mutiny, um, some of the commentators coming out today are saying that the way that this plane has come down, if he was on it, is actually quite dramatic. Um, there are probably more subtle ways if you wanted to do away with Yevgeny Prokhorjian to do that. And, and that man, when he led that mutiny into Russia, he was welcomed by many people when he actually left and withdrew. He was a bit of a hero figure. So you kind of have that, it, the argument now is, is this man gonna perhaps become a martyr or has Putin drawn the line under this kind of insurrection? And uh, as you know, Sarovakin, General Sarovakin, who, who, who has, has disappeared. Yeah. He was the person at the time who spoke out in favor, uh, well, basically said, call it off to Yevgeny Prigozhin. He's disappeared, we don't know where he is. Um, I'm not sure. Well, well he's assumed him. under house arrest, isn't he? And, and 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 just a final quick one for you, Kate, because yes. the last time we saw Yevgeny Pogosian, he was doing uh, uh, one of his pieces to camera, reportedly Absolutely. in Africa. Reportedly. <laughs> yes, the, the, the word yes exactly. Yeah. What does this mean for relationships in Africa where the Wagner group and Pogosian, um he was their main link into the Russian regime, what does this mean for that relationship between Russia well, and African countries involved with the Wagner Group? I'm not sure it's over. Um, I think, I mean, it, to a certain extent, maybe it's a surprise that, that the head of Wagner Group is gone and one of his close associates. But at the same time, there have been reports in recent days that the defence minister, uh, Shoigu, is also looking for contracts in Africa. So I'm not sure that this is the end of Russia's influence in Africa at all. I think it's probably a kind of necessary rebranding that will happen. So let's watch this space in the coming days and months. Yeah, OK, well, look, th thank you so much for speaking to us. Um, uh, uh, appreciate being able to get hold of you at short notice. Uh, Times Radio has a brilliant YouTube series. It's called Frontline. It follows every twist and turn of the war. And its presenter, Kate Jabot, has just been speaking to us. Kate, thank you so much. Really good uh, to speak to you.